We are going on an adventure today to find an old oil well that's abandoned in the woods near some train tracks here in the general vicinity of where I grew up. And this thing has not been anywhere. I just happened to be combing through historical archives that nobody looks for of, you know, like the Western Pennsylvania petroleum industry. They found these old maps. I'm like, I want to find one of these things. Apparently, <laughs> apparently this thing is powered by a Model T engine. And as of 1993, it was still there. All of the stuff, like the whole Derrick thing was falling over and still there. This is like one of the first places people drilled for oil back in the oil boom of the late 1900s. Like once they left Oil City, Titusville and started coming a little farther south, more towards Pittsburgh. This was one of the first places. So we gotta hike these railroad tracks. Probably about a mile to wherever it's supposed to be. And we don't even know if it's gonna be there. I think it's easier to just move if a train's coming than it is to fall down the rocks. Yeah, you would, you would hear it. You think that's a possibility? To what? To no. not hear the train? No, it's not a possibility. No, and... I feel like someone's told me that before. Like, oh, don't walk on railroad tracks because if you don't hear the train, you're gonna die. It's happened, but it, that could be just your mom. I don't know. Yes, we brought my sister because we figured she wasn't doing anything. You might want to go walk through the woods on a quest to look for an abandoned oil well. Look at their tracks coming apart. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. Those are like people, there's a, there's a spike if you want There's lots of spikes. They must have to come through here and replace those things because I've seen a handful of these spikes that like come up or come off. Yeah. So, we're at the end of the bend. The other bend is about to start and the dot on this map is like up here somewhere. So we have to find out how to get up there. She's just going for and it. She's going for it. All right, I'm... If she can do it, we can do it. Yeah, I'm inclined to look at my phone to read the document a little bit because it'll probably say, you know, it's really specific, like X amount of feet from the train track or the creek bed or something like that. It's very accurate where it's described to be. All right, well, I guess we're going on hike then because apparently it's hard to see on the map, but there are two train tracks here. There's the one we're on in the creek, which is too deep to walk through, and then one over there. It is on that side, on this little thingy right here, which makes a heck of a lot more sense than it being up there. But, yeah. I'm like, oh, let's get in the truck and just go. I should have read all of these documents earlier today, but I didn't. So, well, well it's not for nothing. If we look over there, we might, we, we might be able to see it. Nobody's, <laughs> nobody's listening to me. We're talking. Yes, Sorry. you are. If you pay attention, it, we might be able to see it over there while we're on this side of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It but said it's... Wouldn't it be right across from where we are? You no, know, it said it's on a level floodplain, about 200 feet from the, the railroad track. Okay. Something. So this looks like, I mean, think about it. It's an oil rig that used to be like 60 feet tall. It's got to be in a pretty... Yeah, I do see that. That might no, that's that might be it. I think it might be. So now we're about a mile down the other railroad track in the other direction, and the whole thing's. Oh, my time over. And the whole thing is lined with these little iron balls, probably accumulate from falling off the train cars from the steel mill down the other way. The map is hard to read because it's like hand drawn. And the, the creek, the both tracks follow the same trajectory. And for some reason, I didn't even think about the other track being there. But they're shaped the same. Yeah, so we walked down the wrong side. But we'll play this again. When we get to the end of this curve, it should be down there. Are you having fun? Yeah. Yeah, I said I thought you were talking to yourself at first. I know, that's what mumbling. it. That's why I don't like filming in public places, because you just look like an idiot talking to a camera on a stick. At least I feel like an idiot. Yeah, exactly. People are all like, duh, 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 and you know, there's nobody out even watching them. I don't want to be that guy. You are that guy. Yeah, but people actually watch it, mm. and I don't. I don't put on an act like that to try to, you know, like, oh yeah, God's gonna go look at this abandoned oil rig today. 
you know, yeah, if no, I no act because that's just what you sound like when you mumble to yourself. I feel like a lot of people are like trying to announce an episode of MTV Crips or something. It's like really goofy. <laughs> Yes, welcome to my crib in the middle of the woods with all these little iron balls. I think it's down there. We should be starting to look for a way down. I think that's it right there because part of that drawing had a... Uh... No, that's it, yeah. You can see the derrick. Holy... It's still standing. I thought it was knocked over. Oh yeah, that's it. Where's the engine? The Model T engine? Whoa. Heck yes, this is cool. Oh my god. It's like a whole Model T. Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> How is the frame in such good condition? No way. Whoa. That's freaking awesome. Oh man, it's sludged up. A little sludged up. Yeah, just a little bit. Oh my god, those little like the gas pedal that's so cool. that's wild. the transmission that is awesome and there's the the big rig over there still got spark plugs. Like, that's just really like, yeah wow i wonder how many people have been back here probably not that many it took quite a haul to get here, so I can't imagine a lot of people would have that. Oh, man. oh you get your pants all thorned up? Yeah. Yeah, those little yeah. balls, little sticky things. Oh, well, it's worth it. This is cool. There's a... You see this pipe? Runs down here. Watch out for pieces of metal. Like some... Sure corrugated... Little yeah, and there's nails nailed to that, so... Step lightly. Is that the transmission now, man? I don't know. I think this is like rig pumping equipment. How about that? Wow. The document said circa 1900. So this is one of the first the big time oil wells in western Pennsylvania. Dang, I wonder when that fell over. The big boom. There's the actual wellhead. Look at the tree going up through the middle of it. Yeah. It's like weaved in it. It's big. This foundation that was under here get knocked out. Or maybe it was made out of wood and now it's deteriorated. The bases for everything was wood. The wood probably rotted. Yeah. That's freaking cool. And like none of these trees were here when last time this was used. And they're big trees. So maybe this is what the engine was turning. Because the back, the wheels on that axle thing had drums on them. And this has something that looks like drums. And maybe when all this fell down, it went like dong, 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 and it fell down here. Hmm. Is there any evidence of them like stopping a train here to load stuff? Like what is that little thing over there? Oh, thorns in my knee, thorns in my leg. Hmm. Oh well, it'll heal. <clears throat> oh yeah, best socks ever. Yeah. It's like, it's like fabric and mesh. It's so funny. Carburetor probably still be rebuilt. Yeah. Meow. that oh. way the camera over here yeah that little pipe right there aha uh -huh. yeah I see it now it don't yeah that may have continued to go somewhere else farther away from everybody at some time does this axle spin 
No. <laughs> Probably hasn't spun in any of our parents' lifetimes. Does the pedal move? Carburetor does. Yeah, the carburetor's not all like. It, it actually looks like you, it's in great shape. No, like literally, <laughs> it looks it looks just as good as my carburetor. The freaking gasket is still soft. That's impressive. Let's see, Chrysler Corp. It's got a hole in it. Here, I'm gonna put the flashlight on it so you can like see it. Manufactured for Chrysler Corporation. And it says Carter Carburetor Corp, St. Louis, USA. That's cool. Like. <laughs> I wonder, I wish we could like pull a spark plug. Yeah. That'd be cool. Oof. Make it run. Look at that. Yeah, there ain't no making that run. <laughs> you could use parts on this to make something run, I'm sure. I bet the parts that were set, scalp, or taken off pedal. of this. This pedal doesn't This is a do rod anything. cap. Yeah, I see that. That's a connecting rod cap. Why it is there, I don't know. Oh, that's this is, cool. This is probably the muffler. Yeah. Trying to flash lights and show stuff. So you can is that the distributor, magneto, or whatever. I don't know what the technical term is. It's really neat. 1900. Yeah. Was the engine house. There was a building around this. Wow. That's why there's stuff here. And then there was a belt house from engine house to Derek. So there was a structure that ran the whole way like this. And the bottom of the Derek also kind of had like shelter built into it. Yeah, you can see kind of shelter at the very top. The back side of it would have had a little roof come down. Well, the, the shelter only went up like the first third. Oh. It was open after that. But there was a ladder that went the whole way to the top, which was probably taken out. So nobody would climb it and fall off and die. Yeah, try to make out what it says. 904 grease, 130 pounds, net, something, if you can make that out. Say Sunoco, Texaco, I think it's Texaco. Yeah, that's Texaco. This is like a Texaco barrel, I think. Yeah. It looks like a Texaco barrel. Hmm. I don't know what that is, but it's solid. It kind of looks like it has a piece of the cable that went over that crown pulley on the top because it's molded like it was at the top of something mm. and the top is more corroded so it probably was up there on one of those things well that's a this is sketchy to walk underneath that yeah. so i wouldn't walk underneath it, it probably, probably falls off of here every 15 years and yeah this is like happen, really know, balanced on it, those but... really small trees oh and <laughs> and on this is falling <laughs> that's apart. precarious <laughs> did you find anything cool over there yeah, I mean, I thought the Texaco barrel was pretty neat. I couldn't really tell what the other barrel was. Um, there was just miscellaneous pieces. Didn't find any pipes that went anywhere or anything special. Is it? Piece of history. I mean, where would they get the gasoline to run that thing from? Maybe that was the gas tank? Had to be. on fire probably but you got to think of the time frame they were doing this there there could still be oil in that crankcase <laughs> they didn't care about that stuff back then freaking wild man or it could be like that guy on the history channel where like he picks up a little piece of insignificance like, guys 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 look at this look at this i hate that guy <laughs> <laughs> He did a lot of the World War II um, history videos. Guys, very annoying. 
<laughs> like, oh my god, oh my god, guys, oh my god, look at this, look at this, oh my god, what was this? Would you, oh, bro, like somebody touched this sometime, oh my god, oh my god, look at this, oh, would you just look at this pipe, it's the most beautiful pipe I've ever seen, wow. Incredible. I'm going to put it right back where it was, become a responsible archaeologist. Hey, but look at this though. This is running right into the ground. That is pretty cool. Oh, that's a concrete footing. Yeah. There's a name for that in the diagram. Oh, it is concrete footing? Yeah, there was like something pole. I'm going to look and see, look at it. See, there's a diagram here. They call that the Samson post. <laughs> then concrete footings for the, the band wheel. Well, we should probably get out of here before it gets too dark. What do you say? Yeah. This yeah. Yeah. I'm starving. All right. <laughs> Let's begin the trek back to the truck. Good time. No, we're not going to tell you where this is because one of you boneheads will come here and spray paint dicks on it or something stupid. So, yeah.